Morning guys, it's Sunday. I just got up and took a shower. Actually, I got up about two hours ago. I think it's about 2.40 now. Um, needed that sleep after all day yesterday, spending time on my knees on the floor. So it's about 34 and uh, partly sunny, so I guess I'll take it. I'm getting ready now to go over and pick up a lug nut wrench from my grandfather. He has the right one that fits the Ferrari wheels. Then we're going over there and uh, we need to take the battery out. The Ferrari's been in storage, you know, since, I don't know, October at my dad's place. And um, he says he's been busy, but I think he's just been lazy and he hasn't gone out and picking up my stuff. He hasn't gone out and started the car since October, so he went out about uh, a week, ten days, two weeks ago to start it. It wouldn't even turn, so the battery's completely dead. He hooked it up um, from the X5, jumped it, let it run for a while and it won't hold a charge. It's either that or the alternator. I hope it's not the alternator. It's only got 21,000 miles on it. Um, and it won't hold a charge and still won't start. So we're going over today to take the battery out. And on that Ferrari, Bobby, probably similar to your Testarossa, the battery is located above, look how dirty my wheel is. That's disgusting. The battery is up here in the bumper behind the 355 doesn't have fog lamps, but it's in here, so you got to pull the wheel off. You, you know, you know, you turn the wheels, like turn them all, like all the way, I think. And then you take the wheel off, and then there's this cover in here that you pull off, and the battery's in there. We've done it once before. The battery's only been in there two and a half years, but they say that's the life. I think it's an interstate battery, so we're gonna go pull it out today, and maybe I'll film some. From yesterday's vlog, when I was running the engine at high RPMs for a while to try to help the carbon build up, somebody said that the only two cons, and they're completely right. Um, of doing that is high fuel consumption, which obviously you're running an engine at high RPMs, it's going to suck a lot of gas in there quickly um, and burn that. But uh, oil consumption too, and I just put a quart and a half of oil in here, so I'm going to see how much that used. And I think that entails starting the car for one minute to warm up the oil a little bit, turning it off, and then checking the engine right then. There's a little uh, sticker that tells me exactly how to do that. Usually when I check oil, it's already warm, so I don't have to worry about that. But, I'll see what it says. Alright, let engine warm up, let idle for at least 15 seconds, turn engine off, wait one minute, check engine oil level. So I guess I'll do that. Or let it warm up for a minute. Oh, and look at that. That, the whole back of the car is just filthy from that yesterday, but I attribute this to the high RPMs. That used about one quart of oil, or one half quart of oil. Uh, for just under 6,000 RPM for 10 minutes. I guess that's not ridiculously unnormal. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of lubrication required for that much work. So I got that filled up. It actually wasn't half that much. It was like a quarter quart because the top of the bottle kind of slopes like that. So that's done. Now I'm going to clean my exhaust out from all that yesterday with some WD-40 and uh, paper towels. And I'll show you the after. And after, if you can see the difference, it is not black inside anymore. Second smart car I've seen today, and I'm literally 10 minutes out in the day in the car, so, wow. There's the guy with the 530 and the M5, and looks like he's still uh, inside and cooped up for the winter. If I see him out in the summer, I'm definitely going to pull in and see if he knows anything about those cars. So what do we need, uh, Phillips? What is this hose? It's a uh, air. It's cool. vacuum assisted brakes. No, it's, uh, there's uh, sco those scoops in the front. Yeah. Those hoses go down that blows. To cool the brakes? Yeah, blows wow. the air down. So functional scoops. Yeah. Well, that's cool for 1998. Okay, that looks like a 10 millimeter. I filmed the horn in there. They painted it rough, so coarse, so red, like the rest of it. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll take it. 
All right, guys, so uh, everything you just saw was the iPhone footage. I was using that as a flashlight, and it's got better lighting and better focus and everything. So I just used that to do a little bit of recording as we took the wheel out of the... It's a 98 355 F1 Spider, if anybody doesn't know. Uh, but we got the wheel off, pulled the battery out. Wasn't much trouble. It took about 15 or 20 minutes. And uh, then we headed over to dinner. We actually went to Olive Garden. I've never been there before. I'd always heard about it. I always heard that it was good. We went. I had, uh, I was going to have spaghetti, but I actually ended up having uh, the pizza and the breadsticks, and I just had apple juice. That's one of the best meals I have had in a while. It was phenomenal. So I'm definitely going to be going back to, uh, to Olive Garden. That was really good. So leaving my dad's place here in uh, Akron slash Falls slash Peninsula, I've gotten behind a very slow Acura TL. So if this line goes dashed, we're blowing by it. But um, I'm going to go through. I'm going to go home through Peninsula and take some of the windy country roads around here. Um, where I'm just west of Hudson, 15 minutes, and uh, there's some really awesome roads. I just wish these lines were dashed right now. Speed limit here is 50, and we're doing 39, and I don't think it's the Acura, it's that it's the Suzu or whatever that is up here. I'll let you know how this goes. All right, now we're doing well. It uh, went to a dash line for a while, and I can't even see him now. And now the speed limit is going from 50 to 45, so I guess we'll tone her down a little bit. Downtown Peninsula, a very good 10-minute drive later. Speed limit's 50, so you do 55 or 53 through some of those uh, twisty roads. This car handles so well on dry roads. But uh, there's Fishers and everything where we do in the summer and the church and the police station. After about two hours work, Colt and I have uh, made quite the difference here on the site. He wrote that one, I wrote that one, I wrote that one, I approved that one. We got lots of stuff done. Very nice graphics here. Thank Colt for that one with fading by me. and. I worked on that one, and we've got a lot of work done. So he's here now. I'll let you say hi, Cole. Anything to say? Not a whole lot. Not a good? whole lot. Yeah, we, he hasn't been in one of mine for a while. I have to wait till summer, I guess. But um, got this log mostly uh, ready to go here. We worked on the car for a big portion of the day. We got the battery out. He's going to buy a new one tomorrow. We may put it in tomorrow night. Um, and then there's no transmission fluid in it because it all leaked out. So I don't know if we're going to start it, but we might. And I'll film it tomorrow if we do that. So. Tomorrow's Monday. Have the day off. Happy President's Day. Talk to you guys then. Good night.